Hi, this is Brad Constantine, and this is a podcast recording of the Old Testament. Although this is not an official recording of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, every effort's been made to be as doctrinally accurate as possible. I'll be using for the text the Joseph Smith translation of the Old Testament, along with many commentaries from general authorities of the Church, BYU professors, Bible scholars, and others. This format will be very detailed, and so if you want a deep analysis of the Old Testament, you come to the right place. Thanks for your attendance. There, welcome back. This is going to be for Isaiah chapter 25. First of all, verses 1 through 5 is a hymn of praise, triumph over the wicked. O Lord, thou art my God, I will exalt thee, I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old, plans made in heaven, are faithfulness and truth. In other words, the plan of salvation worked. For thou hast made me... Thou hast made of a city an heap, of a, de- of a defense city a ruin, a palace of strangers, symbolic of kingdoms of the wicked, to be no city, it shall never be built. Therefore shall the strong people glorify thee, the city of the terrible nations shall fear thee. God has power over the wicked. Thou hast been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shadow from the heat, when the blast of the terrible ones, the wicked, is as a storm against the wall. Thou shalt bring down the noise of strangers as the heat in a dry place, even the heat with the shadow of a cloud, the branch of the terrible, or song of tyrants, one shall be brought low. Verses 6 to 12, the Lord prepares a feast for the righteous. And in this mountain, or new Jerusalem, shall the Lord of hosts make all shall make unto all people or nations a feast of fat things, the best things. A feast of wines on the lees means that the juice pressed from the fruit has been allowed to rest undisturbed in vessels for sufficient time to allow the sediment to settle to the bottom, clarifying the wine. Of fat things full of marrow, of wines on the lees well refined. All nations are invited. The missionaries are now inviting people to the feast. Only those who have received the ordinances of the temple and who are truly the humble followers of Christ will be able to partake of the feast. This feast will take place at or near the time of the second coming. It will be at Adam on Diamond. Verse 7, and, we, and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people, and the veil that is spread over all nations. The veil of ignorance and spiritual darkness will be removed. He will swallow up death in victory, saith, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. Jesus will wipe away all the pains of mortality, and the rebuke of his people, or the reproach of his people, shall, be, shall he take away from off all the earth, for the Lord hath spoken it. It shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. For in this mountain shall the hand of the Lord rest, and Moab, symbolic of the wicked, shall be trodden down under him, even as straw is trodden down for the dunghill. And he shall spread forth his hands in the midst of them, as he that swimmeth spreadeth forth his hands to swim. And he shall bring down their pride together with the spoils of their lands." And the fortress of the high fort of thy walls shall be shall he bring down, lay low, and bring to the ground, even to the dust. The kingdoms of the wicked are destroyed completely. So anyway, that's the end of the chapter, and we'll see you next time. Bye.